Morning folks, how are you doing? Um, we're just shutting down for the night. Uh, this looks to be kind of the last little bit of work we have have going on. Um, so I'm going to take this time. Uh, January 22nd uh, is going to be the 10, 10 year anniversary for me in the oil field. And I thought it would be a good idea to, to put together a little episode, a little series on, uh, you know, what it's been like from in the past 10 years. So from start till now, uh, which should be a really, a really good uh, bunch of videos for you to watch um, and see uh, the progression and, and what got us here. Um, and uh, I guess we'll start off with uh, the beginning and uh, it was tough. It was really tough folks. So, so uh, this first one here would be uh, we pretty much, when we left back east, um, with everything we had, well, I came out uh, before that uh, and started working hitches in the oil field. Uh, but then we uh, we moved out, I moved the whole family out in a camper. And um, tough times, it was really tough times, folks. But, uh, but uh, stay tuned because I think you'll see uh, the progression and how we, um, improved our lives and uh, all the good things that, that happened so y'all be blessed and uh, enjoy alrighty folks so this is a picture of my son when I left uh, to Colorado for the first time and I just thought it was real interesting uh, the look on his face and uh, that's why I just thought I'd put that up there for you it was a rough time for us um, and that's Cody he, he was my buddy he's the one that went with me uh, we put a lot of miles on me and that dog. He's not with us anymore. So I got to North Dakota um, after spending a, a couple months in, in Peons Creek, Colorado. And we lived in these these man camps uh, in North Dakota. Uh, that's a picture of them there with all the trucks out front. And uh, here on the inside is the, uh, the bedrooms we had four guys in each room uh, in those bunks. Uh, the room was about eight by eight. There were three of those rooms and a small kitchen. Um, so you can imagine, so that's uh, 20 guys, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, stop. So yeah, there was 20 guys in there and it, it was an interesting experience. Probably a whole nother video just on, on living in a man camp alone. Here's a, the small kitchen we all shared uh, here again, tight quarters. So we'll kind of get on to what it was like every day for me. It was just one rig after another. That's all I've seen every day. Uh, we, haven't, it, we haven't seen anything like that in years. I'm just going to kind of let it play out here of all the different rigs we were on. And every day it was just a, another rig, another rig. There were, I can't go back and tell you how many rigs were we're up here in them years, but uh, it, it was it was a whole different world as, uh, as far as the drilling activity goes. So what did I do when I first got to North Dakota, um, or in the oil field in, gen in general? Um, we moved with the rigs. We set up the liners that go underneath once they grade the pad off, uh, and we set the rig mats down and a certain way and a certain design for each different rig. And um, so basically once the spud hole, spud crew comes in and they put the cellar in and we put a spud tube down in there, we come in and we lay down all the liner, uh, set the mats, and we'd actually back in the day, which you don't see any much nowadays, we do the pit liners too for the cutting pits. And here's a bunch of pictures of all that. So at this time, I was still on a rotation. <clears throat> and I'd still go back home. Here's a picture of, uh, this is where we lived. Uh, that's actually my wife's business. It was a huge building. But we were on the verge of losing all that. So I decided to step up my game and uh, 
get a little camper so I could have a little bit of privacy and uh, put it out in the in one of the farmer's fields next to some other campers and uh, started living that way. At the same time, we started getting, I started getting a little bit uh, more set up in the company and started doing more roustabout work. We started actually doing the rig washes where we, when they laid the rigs down, we'd wash them and sometimes paint them and uh, really started getting more involved in the oil field. Um, took it a little bit more seriously, started trying to make a career out of it. So anyways, folks, that's kind of, that kind of wraps up the uh, first year and a half in the oil field for me. Um, and I'll leave you here with some interesting pictures. Uh, this one picture in particular is the only well I've ever seen like this. Two pup jacks uh, facing head on like that. I've never seen another set like that since. Uh, and I just took this silly picture with them. But uh, that, that kind of wraps up how it all started. Um, and then in the next episode, we'll kind of get into when it came down to me moving the family out here. Um, and we had to let everything go back east and uh, move permanently to the oil field. So I figured that'd be a good place to start off in the second episode. Alrighty, folks. Uh, I appreciate y'all being here. Y'all take care. Stay safe and be blessed. And we'll see you soon.